Next, we are having total fixed cost and fixed cost per unit. So what is total fixed cost behavior, Sarah? Uh, it is um, it is that the, the it is unaffected by the level, changes in the level of activity. Very good. At any level of activity, the total fixed cost will always remain constant. And what's the reason for this? The reason is in cost behavior, we study the relationship between cost versus level of activity. The total fixed cost actually never dependent upon the level of activity, but it is dependent upon the time period. So if a cost is not dependent upon the level of activity, but on the time period, so whatever is the level of activity, the total fixed cost always remains constant. The best example can be, for example, monthly rent. So if I'm having a factory and I want to pay a monthly rent, so if it's in January, for example, and I have produced zero units due to any reason, still I have to pay the total rent of $1,000 per month. Then in February, I increase my level of activity to 1,000 <laughs> units. From zero units, I increase the level of activity to 1,000 units. Still, the rent will going to remain same, $1,000 per month. In March, I further decided to increase the level of activity to 2,000 units. Still, the rent, I have to pay the same $1,000 per month. Why? Because the rent cost is not dependent upon the level of activity. The rent cost is dependent upon the time period. So how the graph of total fixed cost basically look like? Zero level of activity on X axis. Again, I'm plotting the units. On Y axis, I'm plotting the total cost then 1,000 units, 2,000 units, 3,000 units, and so on. And total fixed cost, let's say $500, $1,000, $1,500, dollars $2,000, and so on. Now, if I'm going to, if I want to plot all these data, so on January, our level, level of activity is zero, but our rent is still, $1,000. In February, I decided to increase the level of activity to 1,000 unit, but my total rent will still be same at $1,000 per month. Then in March, I decided to increase my level of activity to 2,000 unit, and the total cost here still will be fixed at $2,000. And even if I further want to increase this level of activity in April, 3,000, so still the total fixed cost will remain constant. So again, I will going to get a parallel line to x-axis, and whenever you are getting a parallel line to x-axis or y-axis, it shows that tot it, it shows that cost will going to remain fixed against the level of activity. So even level of activity increases, level of activity decreases, the total fixed cost will remain constant. Again, this graph basically looked like the variable cost per unit. And why they both have similar kind of graphs? Because total fixed cost and variable cost per unit both remains constant at any level of activity. All right, after that, Sarah clear with this total fixed cost? Yes, sir. Okay. Then another one, fixed cost per unit. As we have seen the cost behavior of total fixed cost, so let's see the cost behavior of fixed cost per unit as well. 
For example, in January, I decided to produce 1000 units and the rent I will be paying, this will be $1,000 per month. Then in February, I increased my level of activity to 2000 units and the rent cost will be $1,000 per month. Then in March, I decided to further increase my level of activity to 3000 units and the total rent cost will be $1,000 per month. Now, if I want to calculate the cost per unit, so how I can calculate the cost per unit of the three months, first of all, January, $1,000 is the total rent cost and 1,000 units I'm producing. So for January, the fixed cost per unit will be $1 per unit. For February, if I want to calculate, so how much will be the cost per unit? The total cost is still the same $1,000. And now the total level of activity is 2,000 units. So how much will be the cost per unit? $0.5, if I'm not wrong. Yes, sir, 0.5. Yes, then for March, the total cost is still $1,000 per month and the total level of activity is 3,000 units. How much will be the cost per unit? 0.33. Sorry? Should be 0.33, 1,000 by... Yes, 0.33 dollar per unit. Now, what is happening basically in this example, from January to February, the level of activity increases from 1,000 to 2,000 units. And what happened to the fixed cost per unit? January, we had a fixed cost of $1 per unit, and it decreases to $0.5 per unit in February. Then in March, I further increased my level of activity from 2,000 to 3,000 units, and my Fixed cost per unit from February, it was $0.50. And in March, it further decreased to 0 0.33. So what is the cost behavior of fixed cost per unit? That when the level of activity increases, fixed cost <coughs> per unit decreases. And when the level of activity decreases, fixed cost per unit increases. So basically, they are having a reverse relationship with the level of activity. So when the level of activity increase, the, to the cost or fixed cost per unit decreases and vice versa. How the graph basically look like for the fixed cost per unit? On x-axis, again, I'm going to plot the number of units, zero level of activity, then 1,000, then 2,000, then 3,000 units, and so on. And on y-axis, now I will going to plot cost per unit. So let's say $1, then $0.50, then $0.33, then $0.10 per unit and so on. Now let's plot this data on the graph. If I'm going to have zero level of activity, we haven't calculated for zero level of activity, but if we are going to produce for January, for example, so if you're going to produce 1000 units, the fixed cost per unit will be $1. So this will be the point. If for February, if we are going to produce 2000 units, the cost per unit will be zero. Yes. I started from the bigger number. Okay. Yes. So I need to st start with a smaller number. So obviously zero, then 0 0.33, then 0 0.50, then 1.00 and 1.50. Okay. So if you are going to have le first level of activity of January, so this is 1,000 units, and the fixed cost per unit is $1. $1.
Then if you further increase the level of activity from 1000 to 2000 unit, the fixed cost per unit now will be 0 0.5. So here, and if we further increase level of activity from 2000 up to 3000 unit, so our fixed cost per unit will be 0 0.33. Now, if we are going to connect all these points, it will going to look like this. So such kind of line when it will going to draw, this basically shows a reverse relationship with the level of activity. Why? Because when the level of activity increases, the fixed cost per unit decreases and so on. So it will going to appear as an arc on a graph. And whenever you're going to see such an arc on the graph, it shows a reverse relationship with the level of activity. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir.